All right, guys, it's a new night in the garage. I want to get the shifter on this today. I want that working tonight. I'm hoping I can do that. So I'm going to get right in. you guys are wondering what the definition of booger welds look like this is it it's horrible I know that's okay as bad as those welds look I think it'll hold I hope um, so now I need to drill a hole through this and sleeve it so I can make my pivot point right here that's what this bolt is going to be that's going to be the pivot point for this action. Okay, back to it. Okay, here it is. This is what I ended up with. I just ran some rod through it and uh, That'll allow me to nut and bolt it. All right, so that should allow me to do this. So I got these plates on here with a captive nut. Slide that through, bolt it in place. Okay, so I think that'll work. Here's the arm. So yeah, let's, uh, now I gotta put the engine back on and figure out a linkage between here and the shifter uh, point. Okay. Okay, so here's what I wanna do. So I have to connect from here to this so I can shift. So what I was thinking was just a rod with some heim joints connected there and there and that should work out well. So I will start welding that up. Here we go. This is what I got. Heim joint, yes it's crooked. I'm going to use that to my advantage and I'm going to put it on that side just so it pulls it away from the uh, stator cover a little bit so I swear I did that on purpose but that's what I'm thinking something like that so I got to figure out a length and then weld up the other end of this so that'll be nice though this will be adjustable in length and uh, I mean I'll have to take it apart in order to adjust it but still I think that'll work nicely. All right, this is what I come up with. So that's going up in gears and then that's going down in gears. I think that will do just fine. Um, let me see if I can sit in this. Oh, here we go. So I have a clutch pedal, I have a brake, I have gas, and I have a shifter. So this will be fun. You know, I still hold on to the wheel pretty comfortably. And if I want to, you know, from the wheel to that, that's not bad. That's good. I'm very happy with that. Um, it is not perfect by any means, but it will do. So, I mean, the welds are not perfect. I'm still learning, uh, but it kind of rubs the stator case a little bit, the cover. So, uh, I, don't know, I might just space it out here and here a little bit, and that should solve that problem. 
but I didn't have the hardware long enough. So next will probably be to figure out the clutch pedal. Uh, that's gonna get hooked up right here. So that's probably gonna be next. So I'll probably get a water surprise for that, but uh, yeah. So I'll pick that up when I get that. And then this thing will be ready to run and test drive maybe. We'll see, we gotta do the brakes. Um, oh, I, got, I just took off the master cylinder that mounts right here, and that's getting uh, powder coated now, and I have a rebuild kit for that, um, because if I gear this correctly, I can probably make it go anywhere from like 40 miles an hour up to like 112, depending on how I set it up for gearing. I'm leaning towards the lower mile an hour because I'll get a lot of uh, torque. I think that's correct. Although I'll get, I don't know. Uh, let me know what you guys think I should run for a gear in this. Um, but yeah, so we'll get onto the clutch next. All right. All right. It's a new day here in the garage. I got the shifter working the other day on the go-kart today. I want to get the clutch working and I got some plans to figure out that. But first I need to move my car, my wife's car, and set the go-kart up and turn the heat on because I just came back from family vacation where it was nice and warm and I'm freezing. So we'll get that stuff done and then we'll jump right into it. After what's taken far too long with too many trips to the, the uh, hardware store or the auto parts store, I finally came up with something. I should have just done this from the get-go. I tried to do it cheaply, but I didn't want to spend the $6. Yeah. So I just got a set of a uh, bunch of these cable stops or cable narps, whatever you want to call them. I uh, just got a set screw on there and it stops it in. I had to modify it so it fits into this housing um, but it should work so it uh, threads in like that there and then this end this goes uh, like that and then this lock nut goes on here now, in theory, when I depress this clutch, that should move. So let's see here. Oh yeah, that works. That works. So just be some neatening up of the cable here and I'll show you what I did here. So it comes out of comes off the clutch here um, this was very horribly done I did this before ignore but cable comes out goes into this stop and then goes into the frame here runs along the frame inside and then comes out here underneath the seat and then passes through the frame and then the loop up here now I might shorten this cable a bit or I could just feed it back in and then tie it off uh, and it will be up under the seat 
and uh, I'm a little leery of having it under the seat because of how low the car is, but I think I can make something work to keep it hidden. But uh, yeah, so clutch working, shifter works. Um, you know what, let me hook up the shifter and that way it's hooked up and you guys can see it all working and everything and with the clutch and yeah. All right, here it is. So we got it right now set up. So she's in neutral, all right? Uh, I go in first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Okay, that's it. All right, so then let's go. That doesn't. That doesn't feel right. Oh, no, okay, so. Okay. There we go. Back into neutral. All right, and then hopefully, let's see. There we go. So we're in first. So if I push this in, it doesn't work. It doesn't freewheel. Am I doing something wrong here? Okay. Well, I don't know if this works. We're going to find out. So, but I'm going to end this episode off here because this is just taking way too long for me to film and I want to put this episode out. But the shifter is done and working. Um, I'm very happy with how that came out so far. It could probably need some modifications. If you guys got any ideas, let me know. Um, I mean, there is a little left to right slop in it. Uh, and I do need to space this away from the stator cover a little bit, but that's not a big deal. Just longer bolts and some spacers, uh, nothing crazy. But that's just one step closer to getting the CR80 shifter cart running. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you definitely want to subscribe. I'm planning on putting out uh, another episode next week. I'm hoping if I can get uh, some time out into the garage and get this going. Um, but it seems like everyone really likes this build. So I do definitely want to keep it going. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And we'll see you guys in the next one.